demystify how water gets to their taps. We walk up to a tap, we turn it on, and magic water comes out. We really don't understand how much work it takes, number one, to locate the water source here in Las Vegas as part of the Colorado River system, two, to intake that water for treatment from Lake Mead, and then to pump it and treat it thousands of miles through all of these pipes, up a couple thousand feet to more than two million people. Putting an exhibit like this in an actual pumping station is truly a unique way to give people a real feeling of how much effort, energy, and expertise it takes to keep reliable, high-quality water coursing throughout the valley. So when you come into the exhibit, you're going to hear the hum of massive pumps that actually pump water throughout the valley. You're going to get to see what it takes to get that clean, reliable water to them. Visitors can run through a series of stations that allow them to act as the engineers, operators, and scientists responsible for constructing and controlling our whole immense and complex water supply system. People that come out to Waterworks are going to see two really large features when they first get here. The first one is an actual tunnel segment, just like the ones that were used to build the three-mile tunnel under Lake Mead to connect the intake to our new system. And it's a massive ring. This new tunnel and the intake and the subsequent pumping station will allow us to be able to draw water should Lake Mead water levels continue to decline. The second structure is an enormous pipe that has a big butterfly valve in it that represents all the pipes that crisscross the valley that help bring water to our homes and our businesses. Once inside that pipe, visitors really are immersed in water infrastructure. And we hope to fill our youthful visitors with a sense of their own potential for choosing to be the next generation of water stewards. The kids that come through this exhibit may be the future engineers, operators, technicians, or inventors that help us to have a better and more successful water future. And the exhibits that we have here, like Waterworks, are here to inspire those young people and dream about what they might do someday. The exhibit also offers solutions for more immediate and daily changes in water awareness and savings thanks to the expertise of project partners, a group including the Las Vegas Valley Water District and the Southern Nevada Water Authority in partnership with One Drop with contributions from the RBC Blue Water Project and Springs Preserve Foundation. It's water. One Drop in particular knows the essential nature of this Without resource it, and how water can wither. work well for the rest of the world. OneDrop puts water into actions in three different ways. We do that through our unique model called the ABCs for sustainability. A is for access, B is for behavior, and C is for capital. Access to water is just the beginning. Through social arts, we try and change behavior. And then the C, capital, is really the microloans that we offer to the communities. This way, we empower these people to become self-reliant. So all together, we really work on a lasting impact, a lasting change, and that's how we put water into action. Through international funding and infrastructure, along with the kind of creative play that comes so naturally to OneDrop's visionary founders. We feel that by touching an emotional cord, um, we really impact people and we can create a lasting change in behavior, especially unhealthy behavior. So we work on social arts. Clearly, OneDrop was founded by the founder of Cirque du Soleil. So when it comes to arts, um, that's really truly in our DNA. Um, so we find um, locally inspired art forms that we can uh, work with in the communities to change this behavior. So they wanted their portion of the Waterworks story to be emotional and enjoyable for global and local users of this universally important human resource. It's a powerful message, but we wanted it to be fun and interactive. We really wanted the kids to understand what it would be like to walk in somebody else's shoes for a little bit, like a girl that wakes up here in Summerlin and goes to school compared to a girl in Burkina Faso that has to walk for miles on a daily basis and actually can't go to school. But we still wanted them to make it fun and interactive so these, the kids will learn while they're playing, which is the best way to learn, clearly. Absolutely and to appreciate our inheritance from the historic flow of water that made Las Vegas possible and our investment in the wonder still to come for sustaining and innovating the ways water works. Water works is really appropriate for this place, the Springs Preserve. 
I mean, it was here where the original water flowed from the desert floor. And we all know how important water is, especially in the desert. That water allowed plants and animals to survive and people for thousands of years. Most important for us, it allowed a small train stopover called Las Vegas to become a thriving and diverse community. This place remains a community and cultural gathering place. And it's still the water, the one thing that ties us all together that makes this place so special.